So over the years, Hearts of Iron has added different designers, one for tanks, one for planes, and one for ships. And I believe that they're going to have one for infantry in the next expansion. I saw that on a video that I was watching, but I'm not sure if it's actually confirmed or not. But anyways, um, the designers are really not very friendly as a beginner and I had a lot of trouble with them starting out. So we'll kind of go over them a little bit. I'm gonna pull up the production menu and go to my heavy tank destroyer. Um, I have a couple new chassis. So I have an improved heavy tank and an improved medium tank. And when you build this, you select the chassis you want and you go to create variant and what I'd like to point out is that the production cost down here in the right hand corner is mostly what we're trying to balance against the useful features it has so with this heavy tank I was going to use it as armor for infantry and I can get 135 armor for a production cost of 15. So let's look and see what the medium chassis does. So it's 135 for 15, and here I can do 110 for only 7. So with that in mind, I'm going to use a medium tank chassis is my base. So let's dig deeper into this designer. On the top line is the name of whatever you're making and you, it defaults to something but you can always change that. And then you can also change the equipment tag and select a different model and those are the cosmetic features to help you um, organize your tanks. They usually keep it pretty simple and only do one of, if not, maybe even not that many of each of the different types. So, therefore, I know that if I choose a light tank, I know exactly what I'm getting, or a medium or a heavy, because I only have the one version. Uh, the drop down menu below the name are the different roles. The roles are determined by the main armament slot. If you're using the aircraft designer, it has the same type of setup where whatever you pick in the leftmost slot on the top is going to determine what type of role it has. Um, on the bottom, there is an auto design button. Mine's currently grayed out because I was messing around with the armor. So if I bump that back down, I can hit auto design and it's going to give me a, a medium tank that's decent. However, I'm not going to be able to use this in the artillery or anti air roll or flame because of the weapon. And if I switch this menu before I hit the autocomplete, it's not going to give me what I want. So you should always choose the main armament yourself. And if it's not um, a basic tank, it's probably going to switch it out if you hit the autocomplete like it did there. Let's see. Yeah, when I change it to flame, we can no longer autocomplete. So the autocomplete only works for the base model if you want. Um, with this guy, I want I want the tank destroyer roll. And that's because I'm really going for armor. I don't necessarily care too much about the armament. It's more of a question of the production cost. So I'm, I'm looking at these and down towards the bottom of the display menu you can see how expensive it is six and seven let's go to 
medium and see what we have. This improved high velocity for five. It's pretty good. Here's four. And I always tend to overbuild because I like trying to get the highest stats possible, but really should be looking for something cheap. So, and also uh, resource us usage is important too because each cannon has a different cost. Uh, so three and four, those are pretty cheap. I should probably pick, well, I don't really want the rocket launcher. I need a cannon for for the tank destroyer rule. So you can look at these little icons on the bottom left of the different cannons and see what role it's for. So here we have tank destroyer and the blast is artillery. Let's see, this one's four. And that one's three. Oh, what is this? Five. Um, let's just go with the one in the middle. And I'm going to switch out the turret for a fixed superstructure because it is a little bit cheaper production cost wise but it gives a lot of reliability so switch that out uh, basic radio is fine let's look at special modules the wet ammunition storage is always good for increased uh, reliability Sloped armor is great, but it also increases the production cost. And then, let's go with armor skirts and the sloped armor. Let those stack. And then this has a diesel engine because it's the most reliable. I'm going to crank up the armor as high as possible. Right now, I'm limited to 17. I have to get the max speed up to 4 kilometers per hour. That actually gives me good reliability of over 100%. I'm using riveted armor because of the reduced production cost. And reliability between the default and torsion bar. It's one extra production cost, but it gives me a lot of reliability. So I'll switch that out. And I had to increase the engine a little more because the torsion bar is not as fast. And so down here in the bottom, you can see that there's a save as new icon by the auto design and also upgrade all modules if you're editing an existing design that's older. I'm going to check the auto upgrade so that the radio will hopefully get updated when I uh, improve that. I'm going to go ahead and save that and you can see it at the top of the list. Click on it, switched it out. So when you go to s to uh, produce these, you see that there's a long list, and you can create a variant of any one in the list. Um, it keeps everything here until you clean it up. So if you click this little green button above Create uh, Variant, you can decommission the design. And if you accidentally remove something that you didn't want to, you can check show outdated equipment and uh, bring it back. And let's 
take a look at the aircraft designer real quick. We'll just look at one I've built. So here on the left again is the main weapon and that chooses the role for aircraft. It doesn't have a drop down. It's automatically assigned when you choose the type of weapon. So CAS would be close air support and then you have fighter weapons and naval bomber weapons. For this, this is the small aircraft uh, frame, so it's not used for uh, tactical or strategic bombing. If you want those choices, you have to go with a bigger frame. And that is one thing that I really hate about this system, is that it... Um, it makes you need to know how the different pieces interact in order for you to save some of these and get the stuff you need. Uh, naval design is quite similar. If we look at that, create a variant. Uh, destroyers, you're mostly building like the tank I was where you just want them to soak up damage and be cheap. The other ships you get a little more in depth with. Um, the other thing, the other thing to note is that if you go to research, let's pull this up. A lot of the different armaments are built into other lines along the way. Like if we look at this one, you can see that it's the improved medium cannon. And here we have the improved high velocity that you saw in the tanks. And you wouldn't necessarily know you have to research this line in order to get the tank upgrades. So that's a pretty good overview to get you started building your own stuff.